Today's session is called Cultivating a Peaceful Morning Routine. I am so thrilled to share these tips and tricks with you. I'm just gonna give you guys a few seconds to jump on. Thank you for being here, please say hi. Um, just a few housekeeping things before we jump in. Um, I'll be sending you a Google Drive folder with everything that I talk about in this training with freebies, discounts, resources, um, some sub plans, different things like that. Um, so make sure you are signed up for my email list and that will be going out shortly. So um, thank you for being here. I'm so excited um, to talk about cultivating peaceful morning routines. Um, if you're new here, my name is Amy Jensen and I am a curriculum creator from Utah. Thanks for saying hi. Um, I'm so excited to be joined by people from all over the world today. It's one of my favorite parts of this job is connecting with everyone on social media. Um, so I have taught everything from preschool to fifth grade um, as a daycare teacher, elementary school teacher, um, ESL. I've pretty much done it all. And now I'm really excited to be doing some back to school trainings. Um, and talking about some of the things that you can find in my shop to make this school year the best one yet. So let's jump in. Um, for today, I wanted to talk first about, hello, about, um, we've got people from Spain and Michigan on. That is so exciting. Um, thanks for being here, you guys, and spending the next hour-ish with me. Hello. Okay, so yo play. I still remember a commercial that I saw when I was probably 10 years old. So it was a really long time ago and I still remember it. Um, but Yoplait did this commercial where they had this person um, eat Yoplait yogurt and then they talked about how that one good choice led to different choices and um, that were just getting better and better all day long. So that is how I feel about having a solid morning routine. You make one great choice, set up one great thing, and the rest of your day is going to go so much better than it would if you don't have these solid things in place. Hello, I see people joining from all over the world, Virginia, Mexico, Iowa, Oregon. This is so cool. Oh yeah, this sign language alphabet is from my friend Bethany Barr. She owns Bethany Barr Education. You guys should definitely follow her. Um, Okay, so I'm going to be talking about a few different ways that you can start your morning. Feel free to pick and choose. This training is a la carte as with all of my other trainings. I want you to do what works for you because that is the part of classroom management that will make it successful is if you pick out the things that you like and implement them. So first, um, the way that I love to start my mornings was usually with silent reading. And the students knew that when they came in, first thing we did was silent read. And we did the daily five. I talked about that in my very first training. It's now available on YouTube, which I plan to do with all of my other trainings. So if you missed that one, go check out the YouTube video. It's just under Amy's Adventures, same as this handle. And um, so I'll skip that so you Go watch that video and I'll go into a lot more detail. Hi from Spain and I think I saw Alabama. Thanks for being here. Um, another way is a lot of, it's kind of trendy right now to do a soft start. And what that means is instead of getting like a worksheet right off the bat and jumping into learning, you give your students a second to like wake up and get ready for the day. So some of my favorite things to do um, with this are some math manipulatives. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. I got, this was my very first Jonah Shoes project. Let me jump down and get it. Um, these are hand to mind materials and um, I'll be talking about more about donor shoes later because they have a really special match coming up. And um, so here is just a bunch of math manipulatives and it, I thought I would be teaching first grade my first year and ended up being fourth grade, but these work for anything. Just a very large tub of things and they're on these little baggies. So what you could do, you could take out the baggie or um, I bought some scrapbook containers from Costco. They were $20 and they were the best purchase ever. I will be showing you more of those later. Um, but I would just dump these in and then have them like, if you do tables, you could do that. You could have different stations in the room. This also helps to have a time that it's okay for the kids to kind of play with these. 
um, so that they're less tempted to do so when you are in math instruction, so that they're not distracted by the things on their desk. Um, if you have ideas for Soft Start, I would love to see that in the comments, and I will read those things off as we go throughout the rest of the training that I have for you. So that is like soft start things. You just give them something simple and um, you could do like anything and there's not really any structure to it. Um, and sometimes that helps um, because it just gives, when you allow students to make good choices, then usually they surprise you. So just one option, you could do silent reading. Second option, you could do morning bins. And then let's talk about morning meeting. So, um, when I was a student teacher, I was in first grade, and I absolutely loved, you guys have heard me talk about my mentor teacher, Miss Tiffany, all the time. Hi, if you're watching. Um, she, one thing that I absolutely love that she did is something that I just shared a reel about um, about an hour ago, so go check that out after this training if you want to see what it looks like. Um, so basically, she just had a mirror in her room, and she had a different affirmation every day. And when the kids came in, they would read the affirmation to themselves in the mirror. So it was really, it was really special to watch. Um, and they were things like, I am treasured, I am loved, I am smart. I um, just cute things like that that um, first graders could read. And I absolutely loved watching that. So we did that in my classroom. Um, my students, checked in um, on a computer system to take attendance. Um, so while they were, I had it by the station, this little mirror and then the card under it. Um, and while they were checking in, they did that first. Um, you can also have it just be part of your morning routine. That's what we did in my mentor classroom is um, she had a little spot for it on a counter and then the kids just lined up. They said it really quick and they went back down to their carpet spot. I saw a comment. We do silent choice in the morning, draw, read, coloring page, head down or a silent game. I love that. Um, so those are some things you could try out too. Okay, I'm going to read this super special poem that my friend Hannah Beth shared. If you guys are not following her already, you need to be. Um, she is the absolute sweetest. And I saw her do this on TikTok and I was like, that is, one of the coolest things I've ever read. So um, I've included a freebie that someone else made and I linked it so that you can download it off of their TPT store. And then you, there's so many different versions of this. So if you don't like the one that I picked, you can pick another one on TPT. Um, but there's so many free options too. So if you're signed up for that Google Drive folder, again, if you're not, go sign up for my email list, come back and join this training. And um, so it says, some kids are smarter than you. Some kids have cooler clothes than you. Some kids are better at sports than you. It doesn't matter. You have your thing too. Be the kid who can get along. Be the kid who is generous. Be the kid who is happy for other people. Be the kid who does the right thing. Be the nice kid. And her reel or her TikTok video was so cool when all the kids were saying that. It like gave me the chills. So that is something that would be so cool to implement this school year. Um, after that, you can, um, so you could do daily affirmation, you can do the chant, and then you can recite your classroom rules, whatever those may be. Could be like the follow directions quickly, listen when your teacher's talking, those standard ones. And um, you can just do whatever rules you have for your class. Um, and then I also have um, my partner cards. So I have a few different options. I posted about my food ones yesterday. Those are the most popular, but I have so many different versions and um, a lot of people have said that every time they get a new pack, their kids che like cheer because they love them so much. These are used by teachers all over the world. They have great reviews because they are a game changer. The reason I created them was because it broke my heart when I said, please pick a partner. And I always had kids who that that was so uncomfortable and I even went to a meeting with a bunch of adults and they had us do that and I was like, I don't want to do this. I wish they had my cards. Um, so this is a great way to make easy friendships at the beginning of the school year and to get kids out of their comfort zone with always being with their best friend. So um, how they work is they have a little animal and then it has who their partner is. These are the zoo ones. Like I said, I have so many different options. I have different food things. Um, you can check those out on my shop, my Etsy, and TPT. So 
Um, I an easy way to pass these out so that you're not really wasting any time would be if your kids all have a carpet spot, then you can put these on their carpet spot. At the beginning of the day, we just had set very clear expectations that um, you just need to establish a foundation of kindness. Like think about how it would feel if someone traded a card and so they couldn't, they didn't want to be with you. And we just kind of go through that and we just say trading is not allowed. Um, it's okay if you're not with your best friend because maybe sometime, maybe in the future you could get a card and match with your best friend and that's awesome. Oh yeah, yeah I'm so glad you love the partner cards. Um, yes, and I have small group cards too. So put these on a carpet spot and then they can, you can um, have them go find their partner. Um, one thing that I like to do is to like have them answer a question with their partner. So you could say, um, can you find your card, look at who you have, look at who your partner is. It literally takes two minutes, if that, for all the kids to find their partner. And because they're so cute, the kids hardly ever complain. And I see that on the reviews too. There's This takes out all the drama. So um, you can say, find your partner and ask them what their favorite color is. And then give me a thumbs up when you're done. And then I'll ask them another question. So um, they'll each get to say what their favorite color is. Give me a thumbs up. And then we'll switch to like, um, what is the funnest thing you did this summer? And then they can answer that. So it's a great way to make friends. You can find these in the shop and there's a discount code in your email. Um, so that is another thing you could do for morning meeting. And that is a great way to establish friendships in your classroom. Let's talk about independent work time. So usually I do like something silent, then we have morning meeting and then we jump into independent work time. I created these literacy skills booklets and I just partnered with Office Depot so we could print them off. I have a tutorial about how to do this on my page, um, but I know a lot of copy rooms at school have this binder tool. All you need to do is print it off there in black and white, just the covers in color because I thought that would be fun. Um, but there are no prep activities. There are 20 of them. Um, I'll go back and answer your question in just a second. Um, there are 20 of them and they include the answer keys. So. When your students come in, they can pull out, you can call this their morning work booklet. I have one for every month, and it would be more than what you need for every day of the month in the school year. So, because the school year is five days and it evens out. So, um, it has different literacy skills that they can work on. There's word search activities, and a poetry. These are all aligned with the Common Core. So this is a third grade booklet. So at the beginning of the year in August, we are reviewing third grade, or sorry, second grade skills. So that's kind of what this one focuses on. Um, and then we've got like crosswords. We have fables in here. Um, we have um, a coloring, color by code, that's what these are called. And then in the back, I would just print this in the teacher copy, not in the student one. Um, so we can correct it when everyone is done. You could even have, like, if you have kids who would not be able to do this independently, um, you could partner them with someone who can and who can help them and be their friend. Um, so it has all the answer keys in the back and it's really nice to just have a teacher copy that does that. So again, I have a tutorial from Office Depot about how to make a morning skills booklet and these monthly packets are available in the shop. Um, so the bundle code will be in the email. Um, let me actually pull it up really quick. So in the next um, PD, it's a Q&A. Um, so I put a Google form in the email, just saying again, because we have so many new people jumping on. If you're not signed up for the email list, you won't be getting these freebies. So make sure you go sign up right now. Um, and if you have any problems, you're more than welcome to email me because I want to make sure you are getting these resources. But if you don't sign up for them, then I don't know that you want them. So um, I have a Google um, form that you can fill out with any questions that you have for the school year. The code is PD, so like professional development, SEL for social emotional learning, 30, and you can get 30% off my shop adventures.com. Um, so again, that code is PDSEL30, and it's only on shopadventures.com because TPT and Etsy don't let me do codes like that. So if you want to use a code, you can save big time. This is the best deal that you'll get on this bundle. And um, how you sign up, you just need to go to the link in my bio. You scroll down a little bit where it says the freebies. I have multiple freebies you can sign up for. 
um, but you want to do the one that is PD with Amy to be able to get those. Um, okay, so going back, do you keep track of who is partners with who so everyone is partnered with others? You can. Um, for my brain, that took too much work because sometimes I just want to do it quickly or um, it's totally up to you. Like if you want to make sure everyone's interacting with a new person, that's awesome. I would totally love to do that. Um, you can make a little tracking sheet and do that. For me, it was just easier to just pass out the cards. Um, sometimes if I knew I had a kiddo who struggled to read, I might pair them with someone who was super sweet and helpful, who was a great reader that would be more than willing to help them and be kind while they're working on their independent work together. Um, so you can really partner them however you would like. Okay. Yes, and I'm giving away tons of free stuff. I've had people say like, I feel like I'm stealing because I'm getting so many free things. I really just want to set all of you up for the best school year ever because I know for me as a new teacher, um, three years ago, I told this story in another life. I was so nervous about starting my very first teaching job. I wanted to do well, but I didn't know what to do. And I actually got so nervous that when we were on a family road trip, we had to pull over on the side of the road because I was throwing up because I was so scared. Um, so I just want to take all of that away. I've made like sub plans, a week of lessons that I'm giving you for free, a lot of digital downloads that you can use. So make sure you're signed up for that. Um, and again, no strings attached, it's just free, and I have discount codes for you too, and I just want you guys to have a great school year. Okay, so once, I always um, want the kids in my class to know what to do when they're done with an assignment. So as soon as they're finished with whatever skill we're doing this day, so maybe we're doing this Venn diagram where they have to read the story and fill this out, um, then we use my ketchup mustard pickle system, which I have tons and tons of videos about on my page. And um, I also have a highlight bubble called KMP for ketchup mustard pickle and mayo's M2. So go check that out if you don't know how to do this yet, but I'll just do a quick explanation. If you want to see it more visually, go look at my feed. And um, so first we've got ketchup, or sorry, I mean must do. So must do is the thing that you need to do first. I, the color looks weird because I wanted the filter that made me look tan. Um, so the mustard is what they must do. So like usually I'll put up a picture of this page and then I'll also use my visual supply cards that are down on my feet. I'll grab them in just a second and I'll say, okay, here's the first thing that you do. And I usually put a little one by it and then um, I give them expectations, like you need to put your name at the top, you need to fill it out, maybe color it, because I love to have them practice coloring to help them practice taking pride in the things that they create and taking their time. Up to you though. Um, and then when they're done, then they will move on to the second thing, which is ketchup. So I have a folder called the ketchup folder and any unfinished work goes into the ketchup folder. Um, and they need to do that first before they move on to steps three, four, etc. So um, they'll do the, any missing work, turn that in, and when they go to the turn in basket, there will be this little well done hamburger. And there's a little sign next to my turn in basket. You can get this for free, and you can use your discount code to get the rest of the system. Um, it's really inexpensive, I think it's about three-ish dollars, um, three to six, depending on if you get the bundle or not, but then you get 30% off with that code that I shared earlier. Um, if you're just joining, make sure you sign up for the in email list and you will get everything. Where do we get the free downloads? Um, we've got some new people jumping on, so I'll just say again, free downloads are in the link in my bio. Um, you just click on that and then scroll down a little bit. It says freebies. There's a place where you can sign up and there's also like, if you wanted this well done work freebie, um, then you can sign up for that one if you want to get all the PD resources that I'm sharing with you, which there's probably hundreds of dollars in that, so I would definitely sign up for that. I also just included a special um, bonus file that I did with my friend Melody from Mrs. Munch's Munchkins. So you, you'll get both of our stuff, and she has the training that we did a few days ago on her page if you want to watch that after this video. So. Um, it has a little checklist. I also included an editable version in that freebie, so you can change whatever you want to do. Okay, 
comment for your turn in station do you have it daily or by subject so because i taught third grade and i had all my kiddos um we did do departmentalized learning so i gave them i gave my kids who were not my homeroom kids their own turn in basket and that was only like language arts and social studies things but the one that i use the most is daily so i have just a stacking tray and it has monday through friday on it um, I think I missed another comment. Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'll keep going. Okay, so third step. These are interchangeable. So it depends on if I want them to do only one thing when they finish, which is may do, or if I want them to have options, which is pick one. So if I just want them to do one thing, I'll put this up. So maybe I'll say like, um, Mayo, you may play Prodigy, or you may read a book, or you may color quietly, um, things like that. Pickle, we have a pickle basket, and I keep doing it upside down. So in my room, there's a pickle basket filled with fast finisher activities. You can get a bunch of those in my shop, or if we were learning a standard, and um, back in the days that I did not have any resources or money to teach, I would just go to TPT, turn on the free filter, and put in the subject that I needed a lesson for that week, print those off and put them in the pickle basket. Um, again, if you want to see what this looks like, go watch the videos in my profile. I also have a KMP highlight bubble that I show you this whole system and what it looked like in the classroom. So this one, interchangeable, one option, more than one option. And that is how we do the fast finisher system. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to jump on, ask any questions that you want me to answer for you. Um, while I just do some housekeeping um, items, do you collect pickle activities? So one of, I have so many ideas for TPT products and products for my shop. One thing I would love to do is like just do a bunch of fast finishers, but let's say you already have something that you love in your, um, that you do for morning work or you're required to do. These are perfect for fast finishers because they are things that kiddos in third grade should be able to do independently. Um, so I'll show you a few more of them. Yeah, we've got color by number with long and short vowels. The kids love doing, well, I've had it hit and miss that the kids in my class like to color. We've got point of view and um, non-literal language. So this one's like your desk is a pigsty and you have to investigate like what that actually means um, because there's a cute picture with a pig on, in some mud on the desk. So these would be perfect for pickle activities. Um, I hope to have math and language arts and science one soon. Again, it's like on my huge list of things that I want to create. Um, so again, sign up for that email list. You'll be receiving a giant Google Drive folder and I'm just going to talk about that for just a second so that you know what to do once you get it. So in the folder, it has a folder for each of the professional development trainings that I've done on Instagram and I've posted one to YouTube. I plan to do the other ones soon um, and re-record them so that the quality is a little bit better. Um, so if you missed one, you can go check them out on YouTube and I'll be posting in my stories when the rest of them are up. So inside there are freebies, discounts, suggested products, um, there's sub plans, a week of lesson plans. There, there's so much goodness in there. Um, there's also a recording of the video. So you can find all of these on my Instagram account, but you can um, go and look, go to the Google Drive folder so you don't have to search. Um, let's see, what for the kids who want to talk rather than get work done? How do you incentivize doing work? I make these two things super, super fun things that they normally don't do otherwise, like computer time or coloring page, something that will get them motivated to get the work done. And um, usually we'll set goals so that they can get to that step. Um, yeah, I've got um, a lot of tips and tricks for how to minimize like classroom interruptions. I love using Classroom Zen, um, which is a great one, or I posted, that I did a 10 hour video of a betta fish after I got my beta because 
Um, my kids were so chatty, so I said, okay, this is our class pet. If you want him to stay on the board, then you have to be quiet while we work. And just setting the expectations that during independent work time, we either use a partner voice or we're silent. Um, I hope that answered your question. Let me know if you want me to give more ideas. Um, mayo and pickle seem like the same thing. How do you different, differentiate expectations? So on the videos that I have on my things, sometimes... I'll do them at the same time, so I don't know what those videos look like, but with this one, there would only be one option. With um, the pickle, then there would be multiple options, or I would just say go to the basket. So you'll just have to, kind of just how I explained how they were different. This is, you can only do one thing. This is you get to choose, and if they don't make a good decision, or they're playing, or whatever, doing things they're not supposed to be, we go to this one. and. I'm the only one that gets to pick what you do when you're done. So if you want to have a little bit more freedom, then make sure you are following the rules. Okay, I love the pickle and mayo. Thank you. Do we send the ketchup folder home as homework? Oh, perfect. I forgot to mention that. So I don't send homework. Well, my principal required us to send homework home every day at the beginning of the year and then things changed. So I used to send home um, all the homework on Monday for that week. So I would send two pages of something to do with language arts, like spelling words or um, a writing assignment. And then I would also send two pages of math from the, we had Engage New York and they had homework pages that I could take out or I would use like a skill builder that I made and put on TPT. And um, so that would go home Monday and then they have until Friday to bring that back. And then anything that wasn't done in class on by Friday goes home as homework. And if they had things to do they really were not using their time wisely because every time we did something with um independent work we did use ketchup mustard and pickles so they always had a chance to catch up on work um i also differentiated how much work i gave out so um for my kiddos who get overwhelmed with a lot of problems we would cut that in half so that I could see that they were understanding what they learned and you guys are teachers, you know how to differentiate. So things like that, so that they're not getting, I just want them to show me what they learned in class and to be able to show me that they've mastered something. If they need more help, then I'll send homework or if it was required by my principal. And do you post either the mail or pickle or both on the board? I usually do one or the other. Um, just depending on what I want them to do when they finish. Like if we have a test and the only option is to silent read, like they can't get on computers, they can't be drawing or things like that, um, then we'll just do this one and say silent read when you're done. Or if they've been crazy that day and I don't want to give them a choice, I just want them to do something quiet or silent read, then I'll use this one. But if they've showed me that they can handle this one, we'll do that one. Um, yeah, or if they need more of a challenge, like you're gifted and talented or like kiddos who master things super quickly and like more of a challenge, those kids love the pickle basket because they're, I put things in there that we were learning all week and then they got the extra practice, but it was more of like a fun activity, like a game or a coloring page, something like that. These are great questions. Keep them coming. Um, okay, I think I got them all, but if I didn't, put them in my DMs. Um, again, Google Drive folder, make sure you're signed up in my email list, link in bio. If you wanna watch this training again, it will be on my profile and it will also be in that Google Drive folder. There's all kinds of great things in there, a big discount code. It doesn't expire, but you can only use it once. Um, I've got a bunch of suggested products from things that I've talked about during our PD sessions that would go really well with the things that I've shared with you. Um, this is one of the biggest discounts I give, so I would totally take advantage of it. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, next time, next week, Wednesday, 5 p.m., I'm going live again and doing a question and answer. You can submit questions before. There's a Google form to do that. Or you can DM me, you can email me, whatever works the best. After that, um, oh, thank you. So after... Um, that training I'm going to be going live I'm so excited with my friend Catherine she um, is classroom creations on Instagram she does an amazing job she works for a company called novel effect she does their social media 
She has, is going to talk with us all about novel effect. It's something that I love using with my students um, and with my three-year-old nephew. He loves it. Um, oh, you're right. It is Monday. I'm so sorry. Monday is the Q&A, so make sure you tune in Monday. Thank you for correcting me on that. I've just gotten the habit that this is Wednesday. I'll be posting again just to make sure there wasn't any confusion. Um, oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, this has been so much fun. I love doing these. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today. If you want to jump on and look at that Google Drive folder, go use that discount and so that you get everything prepped and ready to go for the school year. I hope you guys have the best year ever and I will talk to you next Monday. <laughs> See you later.